Hello everyone. Welcome. Yesterday, one person mailed me. In that mail, she asked me that whether I have to prepare prepare this general organic chemistry from any other channel or from your channel. <laughs> See, you are preparing for competitive examination. When you are preparing for competitive examination, please don't put your two legs in two boats to reach your destination. The point here is you have to put your two legs in one boat to reach your destination. Right. So what I mean, if you want to prepare any lesson, OK, any chapter, any topic, just follow one channel. All educators are trying to give a very good content. Right. For suppose you take general organic chemistry. I am trying to give a very good content on general organic chemistry. This is seventh part of the general organic chemistry. Right. Today's class is part seven. For suppose if you are preparing general organic chemistry from so long from any other channel, please follow that channel only. OK. You don't have to distract. You don't have to prepare uh, from so many sources, from multiple sources. OK. Instead of preparing from multiple sources, preparing from one source is better to reach your destination in a very, very easy manner. Right. So this is my suggestion to you. If you like my lectures, follow my channel. If you like any other channel lectures, please follow that channel only. The ultimate goal is you have to reach your destination. You have to crack your competitive examination in a with a very, very good rank. OK. Right. Second thing, today's class is stability of carbocation, carbanion and free radical. That means reactive intermediates. Generally, everyone knows. OK. You also know if more electron donating groups, stability of carbocation is more. More electron withdrawing groups, stability of carbanion is more. If you want to stick your knowledge up to this only, you don't need to see the total video because I'm going to explain every point in a very, very detailed manner because I have discussed about the inductive effect, hyperconjugation and resonance effect in my previous videos. You have to apply those videos in this video, right? Without applicable knowledge, even if you want to learn anything, it is just a waste of time, right? So if you have patience, please see this video. Or if you don't have patience, just remember more electron donating group will give more stability of carbocation. More electron withdrawing group will give more stability to the carbanion. Just remember this and go to write your exam. Okay, you don't need to see the entire video, but you want to learn something new, please see this video. Okay, right. Carbocation, carbanion and free radical. So first of all, <coughs> I am taking carbocation here. I am writing the structure like this. So these are the alkyl groups. This is carbocation. Free radical. Free radical structure is like this. And here carbanion, I am writing the structure like this. Why I am writing like this? I will tell you. First point, <coughs> first point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 electrons. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 electrons. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 electrons. In last video, I said you <coughs> octet rule. To see any molecule stability, you have to see always octet. See here, in this reactive intermediates, here are 6 electrons. So, to complete its octet, it need two electrons more, right? So this is unstable. Here seven electrons, okay? One electron short to octet, so this is also unstable. And here eight electron. But why this is unstable? Charged species. Second rule of previous video: neutral molecules are always stable than charged ones. Even though it has eight electrons, it is having charge, so it is also unstable. So conclusion is. Reactive intermediates are unstable. That's why we are we are we are talking reactive intermediates. Reactive means they are reactive. So whenever your reactivity is more, your stability will decrease. How? For suppose mm, covalent bonds and ionic bonds you take, right? Ionic bonds are more reactive than covalent bonds. Why? Because ionic bonds are charged ones, 
positive charge and negative charge is there so because of that reason because of charged nature they are more reactive so whenever charged species whenever charge is more then reactivity is more stability will decrease okay so in the same way so these are charged species reactive intermediates are as the name suggests they are more reactive charged ones so their stability is less so second point very very important point charge is directly proportional to the reactivity and inversely proportional to the stability this is very very important this is very very important charge is inversely proportional to the stability third one 1 2 3 sp2 hybridized sigma bonds have to count 1 2 3 sp2 hybridized 1 2 3 4 sp3 hybridized okay fourth point whenever sp2 hybridized you know if you are aware about the vesper theory valence shell electron pair repulsion theory you can know the geometry of the molecule so whenever we have sp2 hybridization we have trigonal planar structure trigonal planar okay so properties of carbocation and free radical almost same so this is also trigonal planar okay this is also trigonal planar here sp3 sp3 is nothing but your tetrahedral but we have one lone pair so that sp3 with one lone pair pyramidal structure pyramidal structure so because of pyramidal nature we have written the structure like this okay so this is the planar structure this is pyramidal structure fifth point this is also very important point whenever you are expecting about the stability okay whenever you are expecting about the stability always you have to see the stability order according to this so the first one you have to check resonance effect okay second you have to see hyperconjugation third you have to see inductive effect okay sixth point if you have electron donating group this electron donating group favors carbocation and free radical okay if you have more number of electron donating groups more stable is the carbocation if you have more number of electron donating groups more stable is the free radical so carbocation and free radical both are same right so electron donating group favors carbocation electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group or we can say minus i group favors carbonyl okay favors carbonyl <coughs> favors carbonyl all right electron withdrawing group favors carbonyl electron donating group favors carbocation but even though electron donating group and electron withdrawing group favors carbocation and carbonyl respectively always you have to see first of all this order resonance hyperconjugation inductive effect fifth point is very important sixth point is very important and second point charge mm. is inversely proportional to the stability is very important now i'm going to discuss this carbocation and carbonyl and free radical right this three <coughs> with electron donating group and electron with the drawing groups first of all i'm going to discuss with electron donating groups dekh electron donating groups i'm taking here okay first of all i'm taking carbo cation or free radical because both cases are same okay first example here i'm taking carbo cation here ch3 here ch2 ch3 here ch2 ch3 okay carbo cation or radical okay next structure this structure uh carbocation ch3 now here hydrogen here ch2 ch3 next structure this um, ch3 hydrogen hydrogen next structure um, hydrogen 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 now tell me which structure is more stable which structure is more stable what you have to do first of all always 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 you have to see 
रेजोनेंस हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन इंडेक्टिव इफेक्ट रेजोनेंस हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन इंडेक्टिव इफेक्ट सी इज देर एनी रेजोनेंस हियर नो रेजोनेंस इज नॉट देयर हियर ओके सो रेजोनेंस इज नॉट देयर हियर हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन हाइपर कॉन्जुगेशन इज नथिंग बट यू हैव टू सी नंबर ऑफ आल्फा हाइड्रोजन हियर आल्फा पोजिशन हियर आल्फा पोजिशन हियर आल्फा पोजिशन टोटली here alpha position 2 hydrogens 2 hydrogens 4 4 plus 3 7 so seven hyper conjugating structures are there here seven alpha hydrogens are there so seven hyper conjugating structures are there here right so here see three alpha hydrogens two alpha hydrogens here this is alpha position this is alpha position right so this is alpha position this is alpha position so totally five alpha hydrogens are there so five hyper conjugating structures are there okay next here this is alpha position so three alpha hydrogens are there three hyper conjugating structures next here there are no alpha hydrogens so zero alpha hydrogens zero hyper conjugating structures so according to this if we have more number of hyper conjugating structures more is the stability so according to that so this is the first this is the more stable then this is the more stable then this is the more stable than this okay so my question is my question is so why this is stable whether it is inductive effect or hyper conjugation what happens first of all i said you charge is charge is inversely proportional to the stability right charge is inversely proportional to the stability if you see here positive charge is there so that means electron deficition here whenever this alpha hydrogens are participating right so these alpha hydrogens are providing electron density to this carbon so that here charge is decreasing positive charge is decreasing here so whenever charge is decreasing reactivity is decreasing whenever reactivity is decreasing inversely proportional charge is inversely proportional so charge is decreasing stability increasing that means comparatively compared to hyper compared to here here hyper conjugating structures are less so electron density here less compared to this So electron density is less, so charge is more. Okay, positive charge is more. When positive charge is more, stability less. So you have to see like this. Okay, this is the concept. Okay. So after carbocation, I am replacing this carbocation here with carbonyl. With carbonyl. देखो. <coughs> here I am replace, replacing carbonyl. Okay, now see. First of all, resonance. Resonance is not there. Hyper conjugation. Hyper conjugation is not there here. Why? Hyper conjugation is nothing but even you take plus hyper conjugation or minus hyper conjugation. Hyper conjugation is nothing but s electron density is transferring is moving from sp three to sp two or sp two to sp three. Sp three to sp two or sp. Plus hyper conjugation, sp2 to sp3 minus hyper conjugation. I already discussed about this in my previous videos, right? Here, if you see, you see it is sp3. Alpha positions are also sp3. So sp3 to sp3, there is no hyper conjugation. So you don't need to worry about the resonance and hyper conjugation here. So you have to see inductive effect. You have to see inductive effect. Okay. So here you have to see inductive effect. so according to the inductive effect i said you electron donating groups favor favor carbocation electron with the drawing groups favors carbonyl why for suppose if you have the carbonyl here if you have electron with the drawing group here what happens for suppose in place of this i have the fluorine what happens so it pull electrons towards itself it pull electrons towards itself so that here positive charge is localizing that means when positive charge is increasing because of this group negative charge is decreasing negative charge is decreasing when negative charge is de decreasing charge decrease stability increase so that electron with the drawing group will favor carbonyl always but here all are electron donating groups right if more electron with the drawing group if strong electron with the if strong electron with the drawing group stronger is the carbonyl strong electron donating group stronger is the carbocation but here carbonyl is there so you have to see electron with the drawing but here all are electron donating groups then what you have to do what you have to do you have to see you have to see less electron donating group 
all are electron donating groups less electron donating group is the more electron with the drawing group we can consider like this right so here three electron donating groups are there here two here one here no electron donating groups hydrogen okay so whenever we have the hydrogen this is comparatively less electron donating so order is reverse after this 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 is more electron donating groups are there so order should be reverse like this okay order should be reverse for the carbon ion so this is next case okay so with electron donating groups we have seen carbon ion carbocation and free radical now i am taking electron with the drawing group i am taking electron with the drawing group I am taking with electron with the drawing group. Okay, first of all, I am taking carbocation and radical again. So here, carbocation or we can say radical. Now this is uh, just wait. Yes, CH two carbocation or radical, right? One, two, three. Yes, CH two. Now this is attached to CH three here like this. Now here fluorine <coughs> fluorine next structure ch ch2 plus ch2 plus are radical uh, here no2 here ch3 ch3 okay i write this structure like here dekho ch no2 CH3 CH2 carbocation or radical okay now see first of all you have to see resonance so resonance is not there here always you have to see like this resonance is not there hyper conjugation hyper conjugation means number of alpha hydrogens here alpha position so one hydrogen here alpha position one hydrogen so hyper conjugation is equal same so we don't we can't see next inductive effect you have to see inductive effect first of all i'm asking you here fluorine and no2 minus i groups are plus i groups both are minus i groups both are minus i groups why both are minus group minus i groups trick is also there pradhan mantri pockets filled with positive atoms right positive atoms the atoms with positive charge no2 n double bond o single bond o minus minus i group okay non pradhan mantri pockets filled with negative atoms electro negative atoms this is also minus i groups i have given this trick already right so both are minus i groups in this two again which is more minus i nitrogen has positive charge right so whenever we have positive charge on one group irrespective of the electro negativity and percentage of s character always the group with positive charge is more minus i so whenever i have no2 so this has more minus i okay comparative comparative fluorine okay so minus i means electron with the drawing group electron with the drawing group minus i but electron donating group will favor carbocation not electron with the drawing group right so whenever electron donating group favor you have to see less electron with the drawing group nature that means this okay so this will favor more than this this will favor more than this so a is greater than b in stability clear because whenever we have the carbocation or radical we should have electron donating group by electron donating group electron density will increase more here when electron density increase charge charge will be decrease positive charge will be decrease so positive charge will decrease stability increase so here electron with the drawing group so whenever we have both are electron with the drawing groups when both are electron with the, with the drawing groups you have to see less electron with the drawing group here comparatively the strength of electron with the drawing group is less here so that this is more stable this is more stable okay so in place of carbocation in place of carbocation again i am taking carbanion i am taking carbanion dekho here carbanion here carbanion now again same thing resonance resonance is not there uh hyper conjugation hyper conjugation is same hyper conjugation is same so this is also not there inductive effect again inductive effect no2 minus i of no2 
is higher than fluorine. Here carbon ion, so electron with the drawing group fibers. So NO2 is more electron with the drawing group. So whenever it is more electron with the drawing group, it favors this carbon ion because it pull electron density towards itself, right? So that here the charge will decrease. Charge decrease, stability increase. So now in this case, B is more stable than A. B is more stable than A, right? So this is about the today's lecture. This is about the today's lecture. So this is about the stability. Very, very easy. But you have to apply inductive effect, hyperconjugation and resonance whenever you have the question regarding stability, right? You always have to see resonance first. After that, you have to see hyperconjugation. After that, you have to see inductive effect, right? You have to go through this order only. All right. So next lecture will be on. I forgot to explain one thing about the resonance. What is the bond order? How you, you have to calculate the bond order, right? How you have to calculate the bond order of a particular structure. For suppose if you have the CO3 2 minus structure, SO4 2 minus structure, what is the exact bond order? We know complete single bond is not there. Complete double bond is not there in resonance. Partial double bond character. That means one to two. If you have the single bond character, bond order is one. If you have the double bond character, bond order is two. But if you have the partial double bond character, it is in between one and two. You have to calculate in a very, very proper way. I will tell you, see, for suppose, if you have CO3 2 minus, CO3 2 minus, right? So because of conjugation, the hybrid structure is like this, right? Hybrid structure is like this, right? Okay, so I'm writing hybrid structure. That means here three oxygens has three oxygens have minus two charge. Three oxygens have minus two charge, right? One oxygen has minus two by three charge. That means every oxygen contains minus two by three charge. Here minus two by three. Here minus two by three. Here minus two by three. Okay, you have to calculate. You have to calculate like this okay charge so you have to calculate the charge like this okay mm, next one one important thing how you have to calculate bond order how you have to calculate bond order so there is one formula for this if you want to calculate bond order one plus number of pi bonds here only one pi bond so one by Number of sigma bonds, 1, 2, 3, 3 sigma bonds, 1 by 3. So 1 plus 1 by 3 means I think 0 0.3, right? 1 plus 0 0.3, 1 0.3. So the bond order is 1.3. It is in between 1 and 2. So 1.3 is your bond order. You have to calculate like this. Okay. I hope you understand this, understood this class, right? So this is about the today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Please like the videos. Uh, that's all. Thank you so much.